Hey, what's up, everybody? Tuesday, February 7th. Welcome to Jedi Oshi. Thanks for tuning in. We have a lot to review today, so let's get to it. We are going to cover the gamut, as usual, but uh, with eyes on all markets. And um, we'll start with equities. We'll get into the overlay. We'll check the, the Bitcoin chart. Um, we'll look at a few alts and finish up with, um, with something something a little special for you today. I wanted to, to show you a, a, an exercise that might help in your work. So let's get to it on the S&P. We are currently ranging sideways. Um, it's been a couple days here. We did kiss the 618. We looked at that in the live stream last week. And, you know, no surprise, we bounced off the 618. We're, we're consolidating sideways here for one, two, three, four days now. Uh, we'll see how this resolves today. Um, Nothing much more to say about that. This is a 618 rejection and um, you know, we're still, we're still moving. And if you watched yesterday's video, you understand my, my grand theory is that we do get some sort of a blow off event. We do, we do make new all time highs and markets run. On the overlay, zooming in, this is the four hour chart, Bitcoin's in white, S&P in red, Dow Jones in orange, NASDAQ in blue. You know, we're seeing all markets recover here. And then, um, you know, Bitcoin's cooling off a little bit today. We'll look at that in more detail. But, um, you know, the market's going sideways. Bitcoin's under a little bit of pressure, just pretty mild. But it is off a, off a pretty strong move off the bottom. So um, nothing too significant here in this chart. But uh, let's fly by the dollar really quick. We looked at this yesterday. A bounce off this line uh, for now. Um, what would be bullish for crypto and equities and everything else is if we do break this line, break this line down. So we'll see what happens here. But um, you know we are seeing a little bit of mild strength in the dollar off the um, off this dynamic trend line, and um, we'll see how that kind of plays out. But that's what's going on with the dollar. Um, just on the Bitcoin chart itself, let's go to the daily here. We are if you measure the move off the bottom. It is, let's do that. The total move is 37% off bottom. Nice move on, on decent volume. We've covered this a lot, but um, you know, my expectation is, is that we have a little, a brief cool off period and let's kind of draw this out. So I'm going to go to, let's go to the four hour chart, get a little more resolution here, but um. You know, we did overnight, we did into about midnight last night, we did get a, get a final push. And, you know, that wasn't a higher, a higher RSI, so it was a stronger push. Uh, let's look at volume really quick. It was on relatively decent volume off the bottom, so, or from, I guess, the, the bottom here. It wasn't just totally low, but, um, yeah, so... Broke RSI, yeah, all, everything is lining up for a, cool, a brief cool off period. And let me show you what I'm expecting. Again, I drew this yesterday, so you're, no one here is surprised really if you're following the channel. But um, if, if we call this neckline, and if we print this, what I think we're gonna see is, or what I think has a high potential is, and I guess we can, if we call this neckline, it doesn't, really matter but I guess it kind of does depending on I guess time and size relative size but let's say we print that let's say we drop this thing down to low 40s or if I go to the candles here at 40.5 so I expect to cool off from you know this high actually 44k down to uh, 40 to 41k and it could take a couple more days so maybe give it to the end of this week and then we print our right shoulder. You know, I think this is an opportunity for, you know, not just Bitcoin, but I think if we see some strength here coming off the, the right shoulder, that could also be a, a really good opportunity to enter some alts. And I'll show you one that I'm looking at and we'll, we'll cover a few more that people are looking at here. But, um, you know, I think that's your kind of your last opportunity, in my opinion. Um, this target on the inverse head and shoulders, again, is close to this 618 from this entire range okay so 
the target, I, I believe this is about 10.7, 10.7 up here. I think, you know, we work our way up to the 618 range. And I think I'm expecting vaults to, to do much better than Bitcoin. So um, that's my thesis for how this plays out right now. Um, you know, there are other scenarios, but, um, you know, I wouldn't I'm just, this is kind of my P50 most likely scenario, if you will, and how I see this kind of playing out right now. Just expecting a brief pull down period for a couple of three days here again, and then a potential move back to the 618. For a final retrace, again, the whole theory is 69K is the top of the bull market. We're retracing, we get alt season in some, some fashion, Alts move up to the 618, and then it's bear market time. So, and let's let's talk about that for a minute. I was talking to a, a good friend of mine yesterday, and kind of what occurred to me is, you know, at least for me, if I'm back to this level, if alts are, are printing, we're doing well, and you know we're not we're in a decent position. This is what I told him. I said, listen to me. This is flip a coin time. Heads, the market continues. And, you know, really what I told them was, heads, you double your portfolio from here. Tails, you cut it in half. I'm not going to flip the coin, okay? If the market continues, I'll find a place to re-enter. But I'm, I'm, I'm planning to exit the market at, at this level and conditionally on a breakdown of the chart. Alts do well. And we look at a, a topping area here. So that's my plan. You need to have your plan and you need to know what you're you're doing. Um, but that's what I'm planning to do is to is to get defensive here. But I think, you know, what is that? 30, 45 days from now? Maybe. Um, you know, I to me, you know, that's that's enough time for alts to do what they what they're gonna do if we do see liquidity pouring in from the majors to the minors. So again, that's my grand theory in a nutshell. That's how I see the market playing out. And um, we'll have to see how it goes. But um, you know, that's how I see it setting up right now. Let's fly past, let's fly past dominance. I want to show you we are, you know, locally here, and this is daily, but locally here we are building strength. So, and we've seen this time and time again. As Bitcoin drops, dominance goes up. So alts, alts are are dropping more, relatively, than than Bitcoin today, but they also did very much better on average than Bitcoin did in the um, in the rise. So I think we'll continue to see that, and what I think would again, what I think would pour gasoline on the fire here is a breakdown of thirty nine and a half percent. And we'll see, then we'll see liquidity flowing in. And that's when you'll see things get a little crazy. So, which I welcome fully. Um, let's go to the real strength chart. We look at this a lot. Um, not a lot to write about today. Unless you're a smooth love potion maxi. Which I know. Smooth love potion. Smooth love potion is doing really well. Leading the pack kind of alone out front. We saw XRP doing well last night. XRP, I think, hit 90 cents. So that's a good sign. Uh, in the lead, we have Smooth Love Potion, XRP, uh, Tezos, KDA. KDA hit $10 last night. I, I hope you guys saw that. Hollow Chain, which I haven't looked at that in a long time. And then Dragon. Look, Dragon's coming back for more t this morning. So nice to see that. Uh, and then you have the pack. So... We always keep an eye on this. Uh, look for the leaders. Look for intra pack movers. Uh, nice to see XRP clip ninety last night. Nice to see SLP off the bottom. We'll look at this chart, but off the bottom, you know, printing. Um, smooth love potion, guys. I just I keep laughing. But I looked it up, and it's a it's a gaming token. Apparently, I think you can buy some things in games with it. So, whatever. If you're into that, great. Um, Bitcoin, we covered this, not much else to say. 
we're cooling off. We're down 400 on the day. It's not, I mean, it's, it's not a, not a huge day. Um, but again, I think we cool off for a few days. Here's what I wanted to show you. And we'll, let's cover specific altcoins in a minute. But what I wanted to do was an exercise in a flyby. So this takes a look at the 50 DMA. When I say 50 DMA, it's daily moving average, right? Because when you call a moving average out, you have to also specify the time. Otherwise, it's, it's a daily, hourly, four hour, whatever, weekly, it moves. So this is the daily 50. The daily 50 was significant. Let's start with, well, let's start with Bitcoin. The daily 50 was significant. We talked about this here in the Telegram. We broke the 50 yesterday. We closed about the 50 yesterday. And uh, now it looks like, I mean, you could make a case that we're back testing the 50. I, I do think we print a right shoulder, but we're printing, um, we're back testing the 50. Um, there is another scenario where when you're a moving average trader, you look at the 50, but also the, what's, what's the EMA 34. You look for crosses. And maybe tomorrow we can look at that on the live stream. But what I wanted to show you today was I wanted to show you and I wanted to fly through charts and we're going to go really fast. But please note where each um, chart is in relation to the 50. And I think you're going to find some things that are interesting. OK, and this can help. This can help uh, show you where there might be opportunity. Right. So if something is above the 50, it may show relative strength. If something is far below the 50, it may be an opportunity. We'll look at KDA. Uh, I think we look, yeah, we'll look at KDA in here. I'll show you kind of where it was when we talked about it and, you know, before the move up to the 50. So well, how is this different than that rel strength chart? The rel strength chart looks at, looks at um, assets in relation to other assets. This flyby of the 50 looks at the asset relative to itself because the 50 moving average is a moving average of the prior 50 candles. And so it's, it's almost a relative strength within itself. And so uh, that's why we look at this in addition to the relative strength overlay chart that shows kind of leaders laggards uh, from the market in general. So, okay, we're gonna go pretty quickly. I'm gonna fly through and just, we're gonna call over under basically. So, okay, start with Cardano. Rejected off the 50, currently below. Akita, rejected off the 50, sitting below. Algo, far below the 50. AR, far below the 50. Adam, Adam, come on, buddy. I think it's calculating. I don't know. Let's see. There it is. Look at that. Rejected off the 50 and below. Um, AVAX. Up, pierced above the 50, back back below. Axe Infinity, couldn't make it to the 50, selling off. Bitcoin Cash, below the 50. Oh, not dominance, not Bitcoin. We looked at that. Did we? Yeah, we did. Broke it, all that. CRV, pretty far below the 50. This, it sold off pretty hard from $7. Uh, Casper, I don't think we have enough chart on Casper. Well, we do. Okay. Below the 50. Civic. Look at that. Above the 50. Look at on February 3rd. We had a big break on the 50. Um, so we're going to know, know which, which ones are above the 50. And there's only about five in here. Civic is one of them. Dash below the 50. Digibyte below the 50. Doge pierced above, broke back down below. DOS below. Dot below, dragon above. It's interesting. And we, we're holding above. Elon Doge, kiss the 50, rejected. ENJ, below the 50. EOS, kiss the 50 to, on today's candle, rejected. ETH Classic, above. So no, okay, so Civic and ETH Classic, okay. Ethereum, kiss the 50, rejected. Filecoin, below. Flamingo, below. Loki, I don't think there's chart updates, but it's below. FTM, had real strength. Kiss the 50 and below. Uh, Gala Moonbeam. No, Gala, not Moonbeam, sorry. Above. 
granted this is not i mean you have enough chart to make a 50 but um you know glimmer not enough chart h bar below euro bar below hnt below hollow chain kiss 50 today below icp below iost above so we have iost civic and dash right interesting kda look at that pierce pierce the 50 below link below lrc more below litecoin pierced it now sitting on top so they have these classics right that's what's interesting litecoin civic dash iost are, are actually sitting above the 50 luna pretty far below mana above look back interesting matic matic came up test the 50 had a great day yesterday below near Below, Neo, at rejected, OMG, below, one, below, A, below, Populous, below, Qtum, Kist, below, RBN, below, Ren, below, Sand, rejected off of it, Sia coin, rejected, Ship, above, holding, Smooth Love Potion. Breaking on today's candle and sits above. We'll look at that in a little more detail. Synthetics broke above the 50 back late January. Now sitting above, building kind of a base above it. That's interesting. Solana, below. Sushi, below. Tea fuel, far above. Look at that. This could be the highest. Is this the highest we've seen? One of them. Theta, below. UFT. Try to pierce, now ranging, it sits below. Yuma, below. VET, below. VGX, below. VIDT, below. Waves, below. Wax, below. XEM, try to break it, couldn't make it. XLM, up. This was the candle last night. XLM and XRP, uh, sits below. Look at, up. Oh, this is it. XRP might be the highest above the 50. And look at that, we got to 91 and a half cents last night. What is going on with XRP? Mm. Isn't that interesting though? Okay, Tezos above, it's nice. So that, okay, so we have, what do we have? Tezos Civic, IOST, I'm missing one or two, but there's a group of, there's, you know, SHIB, um, there's a group of, there's a group of coins up sitting above the 50 right now. Interesting. Um, Wi-Fi, that was below. Yep. ZEC, uh, below, rejected. Zill, below. BTT, that's it. I added this last night, but... Um, okay, so I don't... There aren't any, like, major revolutions, right? Or, sorry, major revelations here. This isn't some grand TA that points to, you know, the, the gems or whatever. You know, you look chart for chart for that, for those opportunities on, you know, taking trades, right? But I wanted to show you what I thought was interesting because when you scan through these, you see kind of this relative strength within the asset. And what I found interesting was they were the projects that I would not have said that were above their 50. IOST, Civic, Dash, um, some of the classics, you know, XRP. You know, I, I don't really know, you know, how far above this is in relation to others, but XRP is kind of leading it as a function of where it is in the, in terms of the 50 DMA. So found that interesting, hope you do too. It's a good look to when you scan to see kind of where things are in the chart. And it's interesting in my opinion to see the grouping. So that's great, that's fun. Let's look at um, some specific charts. This is a glimmer, I'm doing the four hour chart because there's not a lot of chart here. But um, this is one that I have my eye on. And if we go to, say, the one hour, we are cooling off here. Um, I want to get a position here. And if I take this range, and this is going to be inverted, so bear with me. But, um, you know, zero on the top now, one on the bottom. So I'm kind of foreshadowing a down, a down move. 
you know, to me, 540 here at the 618 would be nice. 522 would be nice. Anywhere in here, I'm good. Um, but I think this cools off with the broader market, with Bitcoin in the next few days. That's why I said this week. Um, I'd like to maybe get a position here this week and just uh, try to buy this pullback. So that's Glimmer. Smooth love potion. Okay. Daily chart here. Strong move last three days. We had decent volume ramp, but um, just basically look where it is in the chart. It's way down here. This is a... Let's go from current, if you measure this out. 18x to all-time high of candle body. Um, 18x. Does it get there? I don't... I don't know. That's kind of the intrinsic chart potential. Uh, we are seeing volume kick in. You know, I think this is a play. I think this is a spec play because things like this just happen have a way of just moving. This is just to move off the bottom. So you had day one at twenty seven percent, thirty seven percent day two, and day three of twelve percent. So yesterday's day kind of made everybody wake up to smooth love potion, right? So. Everybody loves to talk about what's moving, you know, because it's fun. We talked about XRP last night and everything. But, you know, where can this go? What I would do is, well, A, first of all, look at this RSI pretty cooked on the daily. Again, doesn't mean it's topped out. Doesn't mean it, it's it's done moving up. But, you know, if this RSI cools off as we move up, just take note of that. Um, let's go to put a fib on here, top to bottom. Look at that, 236 at 10 cents. Um, if you go to 618, it's 25 cents. Okay, it's 20. If you, if this thing, if we have, you know, if, if in a Bitcoin retrace, all do really well, the 618, if we just make it back to 618, that's a 10x. Can it do it? I don't know. Probably. Why not? You know, uh, 10x. You know, we looked at T fuel yesterday. Can T fuel 10x from here? Would I want to trade T fuel for smooth love potion? Uh, I don't know about that either. But yeah, that's what um, you know. That's what that looks like. Back to the 618 is a 10x. Back to we looked at all time highs, 18x. Um, so somewhere up in here, or do you break out all time highs? I would be surprised at this point because we have a long way to go. You know, if you look at your Elliott waves. Um, this to me would need to print a one first. Cause, so if this is the bottom, we're doing a new cycle, you're gonna have to do a one first, right? So wave one, and maybe this, you know, you go back and look at old old alt seasons and rallies and things just have a tendency of just, you know, going straight up. But, you know, maybe it's something like, I don't know, that, um, maybe it gets out of control. So that's SLP. Um, Populous, man, this is um, this thing ran to seven plus dollars back in April. Made a new all-time high, seven dollars, and it went all, and it fell all the way back to now it's at thirty-eight cents. My my my. Here's my my thoughts on Populous. Honestly, guys, is um, when this thing moves again. Let's say Bitcoin retraces and um, populist moves. To me, I'm in a position of you get what you get. Okay, so I'm not going to be waiting on populist to do some magical fib level while Bitcoin's falling out of the 618 or 7, whatever it gets back to. And we go bear market, everything's going to start selling off. So in my opinion, you get what you get. You know, I think for, for levels, what I'm looking at, you know, if I'm, I think this is not likely, okay, but if Populous gets back to one six one eight, it's thirteen dollars. I'd be selling. I'd be selling right there. Um, <clears throat> can this thing move off the bottom here to a four two three six thirty three dollars by in the next thirty days? I would be shocked, honestly. Just you know. The way it got sold off here and you know, where we're going, again, my play for Populous would be 
if I think the market's topping out in the in the Bitcoin retrace, alts alts have moved up nicely. You know, I'm selling everything. Everything's getting sold, no matter where it is. You know, Populous is at you know the four dollars, the point five. I'm out. It's Populous. Also, there was a request for Pillar. I couldn't even pull up Pillar on Trade Trading View, so I looked at Coin Market Cap here, and um, another one of these guys. Pillar was a dollar fifty back in eighteen. And now we're at a penny. Um, this reminds me of the Lux chart. You know, big move and nothing. We didn't even have, we didn't even have the move. Like we just looked at Populous, right? Pillar didn't get to six cents in April. Maybe it did in here somewhere, but there it is. Seven cents on May 7th. So it's it went from seven cents. Now it's down to a penny. Not seeing relative move here. You didn't, you didn't get anything in April, May. Even, even DOS went to, you know, I don't know, seventy cents. I think in April, May. Pillar. I mean, okay, granted, it was from two cents to seven. That's a three and a half x. But again, I would put Pillar in the grouping of everything gets sold in a in a in a retrace run. And if we get alts to move. Pillar, all my pillar would get sold. Whatever you can get. Just get what you can get. Uh, dogs of Elon. This is what I've never looked at before. This is the daily chart. Look at that. 94 cents down to four and a half cents. That was November 10th. Interesting. Because Shib and Akita topped November 1 or 2. And now everything, you know, they sold off and now it's just sideways ranging here at, you know, about five cents. We did have, you do have some, I mean, there's just not a lot of structure here on the bottom, but let me zoom in to this, this bottom range here. You know, like this candle was 50, 30%. This one was 50%. So it, you have some relative moves off the bottom, but there's no structure here. It's just sideways. You know, we are building RSI, so if you like it, this is a decent place. I think if we cool off, maybe you can get it for four cents, and um, and maybe this thing, you know, runs. So, you know, what I would do again, like I do on every chart, is look at my FIBs, right? So, just start looking at, and there's not a ton of chart here, but. There's two, three, six, three, eight, two, five, six, one, eight, seven, oh, two, right? If this can run to 60 cents, that's a 12 X. Hmm. Yeah. There's intrinsic chart potential here, but, um, I would probably in my mind, dogs of Elon is next to Floki, you know, in the order of dogs. I think Doge might be the King Shib. You have a Kita that really runs with Shib, uh, very close. And then you have. It looks like then you have Dogs of Elon, Floki, and, and the rest of the, the dog meme coins. So that's that. And then we have uh, Shib is the last one. Let's take a look at the low time frame. This is the one hour. Um, not surprising. And I had an alert here for 3,500 on a new all-time high. But um, yeah, we're cooling down. We're just above 3,000 here. So as, um, as Bitcoin and the crypto space cools down, I think for a couple, three days, maybe, um, everything else is cooling down in, in large majority. So where would be a, a decent entry again on SHIB? I think um, maybe the top here at 2950, maybe in this range, 2800. Um, what I would do on the small time frame is take a, well, let's do it this way. You can do your FIB either way, guys. It's just math. It's just math. These are just percent of this range, really. Um, the 618 here at 2829, the 0.5 at 2600. So, yeah, I think that, um, you know, I wouldn't be surprised to see a cool off here. And then hopefully, hopefully they, they run if, um, you know, when Bitcoin bottoms, say it does bottom in the right shoulder area and they move, we saw, you know, Shiv was a, um, a mover here. It wasn't the earliest mover off the bottom. But boy, oh boy, when it moved, it moved, right? Um, that's, that's the story with these.
Um, let's see. I wanted to show you one other thing. If you go back to if you go back to the first two days, this is what we were looking at last night. If you go back to the first two days of each run, look at this guy right here. Look at this candle with the wick, long wick. The second day on this had a wick at the top. You know, that's what I thought we might get a, a candle with a wick, but now we have a red candle. So we've never seen a red candle in the series except for here on the local top where we had a consolidation sideways before a move up. So um, if we do have cool off period for a few days here and um, maybe up to a, maybe up to a week, I don't know. No one knows, right? On time. Um, you know, could this kind of range sideways here before I move up? You know, hopefully, hopefully we see that. But, um, you know, that's, um, that's SHIB. We've looked at, you know, yesterday we covered it in more detail. Depths or um, levels, fibs, that sort of thing. And even in the Telegram, I posted a, a, an overlay of the bars just to, just to do it. And it was really simple, but basically you just take this, and just copy and paste, copy, copy, move it over. So it was like this, I guess we just do that. There's 10, there's 10,000 right there. And that's just on a, a straight up paste. Um, what I haven't done before is if you take a look at maybe a, a wave count. So let's just say, let's just say we started a cycle here and I'm not sure if you would count this as one. Some people might, but if this is, um, like in grand cycle, um, I'm not an e-wave guy, guys, but let's just say that's, you know, I almost hate even doing this because there's so much hopium involved in LA waves because you can draw them however you want and then you just print five ways up only, and, uh, you know, whatever. So. You know, do we go, that was our first cycle, we go for a second cycle, we pull down, and then a final run. Notice where that is. I mean, like, well, there's levels out there that people talk about, but, um, you know, this, you know, we get to that 4236 or the golden zone off this last cycle. We print the golden zone off the last cycle to 20, cool off again. You know, I'm not sure. If, if crypto's in a bear market, bear market and Bitcoin's going down, you don't expect anything else to do, to do well. Um, last flyby of, of an update on equities in Bitcoin before we go. S&P now green on the day going for 4,500. See that? It's a key level of 4,500. Really, we need to break out of this range we've been in. This is the hourly. We were just sideways in a range yesterday and today. So um, this will mess with a lot of traders because it's choppy and we're not trending. A choppy market is the in a corrective, corrective market is the hardest market to trade. Because these are a lot easier when you get in a trend, whether it's up or down, it's easy. Find your trend, you ride it. In chop, you get a lot of stop outs and a lot of like you have to manage it and then you get stopped out, whether it's in profit or not. Because you don't have you don't have the movement. Right? So S P showing strength. I'd like really like to see it break this range, this old high level of 4540 for a move up. Um, and then Bitcoin back on the, let's go to Bitcoin back on the low time frame. Uh, we're down, yeah, we're still just down 500 points or dollar, $500 on the day. So again, you know, I think we, I just think we cool off for a few days here. That's all I had guys. Appreciate you tuning in. Please like the video, please subscribe to the channel and please share what we're doing here with Jedi Oshi. We are teaching people to read charts and think for ourselves, become traders. Follow me on Twitter and send a DM. And I can help you get access to our community and our Telegram group. And that's it for Tuesday, guys. Enjoy it. And we will see you tomorrow for the live stream.